Hello, bearded gentlemen. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I go by the trusted teacher. And today, I'll be showing you guys how to get rid of beard waves, specifically along the jawline. So if you'd like to learn how I go about doing that with the best possible method, what tools I use, and anything else with this problem, please stay tuned. And I also invite you, if you could please hit that subscribe button for me. I put a lot of work and time into these videos and I really enjoy them. And the only thing I ask in return is that you subscribe and watch those videos. If you want to stay up to date, hitting that notification bell will be the best way to receive those videos. So thank you guys. Please stay tuned and let me know what you think. problem, the cause. What is causing these waves in your beard? And I want to be clear, I am not talking about the natural texture or curliness of your beard. You want texture. You want some curls and some little waves or S curls in your beard. That gives you that beard appearance. You don't want to have straight hair like a girl that just flat ironed her hair. I don't think that's the best look for a beard. So I'm not talking about those of guys who are like, oh, I have curls, I have waves. No. What I am talking about is a dip, an indent in your beard that follows your jawline, most commonly on the side where your sideburns end. The reason why this is most common on the side is your beard is the thinnest there. It doesn't have enough support behind it, but you can also get it in other areas of your beard as well. And the cause is very simple. It is your grooming habits. It is normally caused by taking a comb and you're combing across your face, which is good. You want to exfoliate the skin with a nice comb, but then you're going down and once it hits your jawline, the comb presses in, naturally pushing in your beard. What you should do is comb straight down your face and make sure you continue that line. You don't want to naturally go with your jaw and curve in. That is what is giving you this weight. It is almost unpreventable. Most guys with medium to long beards are going to encounter some kind of wave if they comb their hair, but you can help yourself by thinking about those combing and even brushing. If you take a boar's hair bristle brush and you're going with the jaw and it's pushing in, you'll have that same effect. So go easy on the combing. Make sure you are combing straight down, especially once it hits past the jawline. So that is the cause. Now let's talk about how we can fix it, what products and tools I use to do that. Product and tools. What do I use to properly get these waves out of my beard and keep them there? And I will link them down below. Most of them are just on Amazon, just a link for you guys to go to. First thing that you need, the most important thing, you can get out waves probably with just this tool, but having the other things really, really help. And that is a boar's hair bristle brush, but a round brush. The round brush that I use is just a nice wooden handle. It has plastic teeth or plastic bristles that extend out. And the key thing is that it has boar's hairs under it. I've seen a lot of round brushes that only have the plastic, but I really, really like the boar's hair to grab and you'll see in the method in which I do this, but you do need a round brush. That is number one, most important. Number two is a good beard wax. Now, I have well documented that I do not use a lot of wax. I do not use mustache wax, even though I'm going to. I'm going to be testing those things out. The one time I do use a good beard wax is to get out my waves and keep them out. The best wax that I've found for this is one that it has a very nice, strong hold, but isn't the craziest thing that I have to heat up in the microwave to use, and that is the Seven Potions Beard Wax. I have the Woodland Harmony scent. I'm hoping to get some of the other scents there. This is just a nice mild kind of wood, but with a little citrus undertones on there. So this is what it's gonna use after you've corrected your beard to keep it there. So that is very important there. So, so far we have a round brush, beard wax. I also use a Kent comb, just like always here. You guys know I love my Oxhorn combs, but for this styling aspect, I do need a fine tooth Kent comb. I also use a boar's hair bristle brush just simply to smooth everything out. When you use a round brush to smooth, it naturally gives that kind of bell shape to your beard, and that's just not for me. So when I finish, I do need, and I, my favorite one is the Beard Octane, and to go over the top. 
And the last thing, and you don't have to use this, but it does help. It absolutely helps, is just your good old fashioned hair dryer. This is one that we picked up off Amazon for like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Just your normal, nothing special here, no ionization or anything crazy like that. Just a normal hair dryer. So those are the tools and products that I use to get the waves out of my beard. Now, let's see how I do it. Process, the method in which I get these waves out, the reason why you guys are here, I'll get right into it. I do have a little mirror here, so when I'm looking to the side, it's so I can see what I'm doing. And this is the best lighting, the best audio, and everything I have. So I figured this is the best way to deliver this video to you guys. And I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty popular one out there because a lot of guys are very self-conscious about the wave in their beard. For me, I am somewhat a perfectionist, and a beard has helped me get over that. But one thing that drives me crazy is when I have waves. And some people don't mind it, and they rock it. Hey, more power to you. For me, I absolutely hate it. So hopefully this will help the self-confidence and the appearance of some of you bearded brothers out there. So very first thing is get that round brush, extended bristles with the boar's hair underneath, and you are gonna go right into where that wave is. My jaw is right here, so right where the wave is, I'm going to place this in my, I do have waves. My beard is real thick, so it doesn't always appear that way. But if you were able to see the transparencies there, they are waving out. So this is why I'm doing this now. I've been waiting about two weeks to make this video until I had some decent waves developed. So what I'm gonna do is the round brush is gonna go right into the problem and then I'm going to twist away from my face so the hair goes up. What we are doing here is your problem is caused because you have trained your hairs from combing and brushing inward to go in that motion. We need to train your hairs to go the opposite way and stay that way. So right in, I'm simply going to twist up and I'm going to keep rolling through. My hair is in there. I'm going to roll through and notice as I go out. Now my hair is going to be kind of pointing straight out and I want to get that hair as straight as possible. So if it feels straight, that is awesome. If not, keep going until it is straight. From here, I'm going to take my Kent comb on the first round fine tooth, part my beard down, and then I'm going to comb up with that. Get everything out there, keep the training the opposite way, and then for me, a very, very important step, and I apologize for the sound, is I'm gonna go with a blow dry. I never go on high heat, but some people swear by that for this method. For me, I go warm and low speed. So middle heat, lowest speed for me, and I'm gonna blow dry up towards my hat, up towards my hat, and I'm gonna continue that method. This is really going to train those hairs to get rid of that bad method that you had. All right, blow dryer time. I'll keep it quick here for you guys. Lock it in first and blow dry up. All right, now my hair is looking crazy. This is what I want. This is absolutely what I want. Next step, a flat boar's hair bristle brush, and I'm simply gonna go down with it. My hair is straight as can be now, and I want to let that straight hair lay flat. So I'm just simply going down, and it may not look the best right now, the sides may be best up a little bit, but you will notice I have absolutely no curve, no dip, no wave whatsoever. I have trained them the opposite way. I like to do this in the morning on a lazy day. Now the next thing is very, very important for me, and that is the beard wax. That is the beard wax here. I'm going to get a small fingertip amount. So my index finger, just enough to cover that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in my palm, and I'm going to emulsify that with my hand, and then get it completely emulsified on my entire hand here and I am just going to go over the top with that beard wax. I'm not going into the beard. My hair is straight and laying down right now. I want to lock it in. This is like a helmet. This is like a sealant. And if I seal this in, my hair will train the other way and your waves will be out. If you see here, I do have a wave. If you see here, absolutely straight. No wave whatsoever. I'm going to go through and do the other side here real quick, just so you guys can see it uninterrupted. So watch the method. Roll out. Cat comb. 
straighten this. This really gets the base or the root of the hair. Okay. One more time. Nice and straight, a little bit crazy. Boris hair bristle brush. Bam. Oh yeah. Now I know you saw that wave a little bit ago. Absolutely gone now. Again, I can use maybe a little bit less here because I have some leftover in my hand. I don't need a lot when you're using this Seven Potions Beard Wax. It'll cover it very, very nicely. Very nicely. And again, I like to do this in the morning to be able to lock it in all day. Absolutely no waves anymore. You are training your hairs to go in the opposite direction in which they are right now. That is the best method I have ever seen. Final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed that method. This is something that, as I mentioned, is a huge pet peeve of my beard. The number one thing that drives me crazy with my appearance of the beard is when I get those waves in the side. Sometimes I get them below my bottom lip as well, and I absolutely have to get them out. I have tried many different methods, three or four different methods from different people, different things online on how to fix the waves. This method is what works the best for me. I have tried it many times, and I think it absolutely stands true and lasts the test of time, but also the test of the look, and it does make a difference. I will have to do this every month or so because that's just what comes with having a beard, but it does hold for about a month and continues to impress and continues to do well. And again, I believe that you guys could do this with just a round brush if you wanted to work at it a little bit more and do it more frequently. But for me, I definitely like the heat of the hair dryer and I absolutely like the wax. Now I've tried seven or eight different waxes for this method alone. I do not use beard wax for anything else, but simply for this method alone, the seven potions beard wax works the best, mainly because it has a very nice firm hold that will stand all day and last even farther if you want it, but it's not too hard. Too hard doesn't work in my beard for whatever reason. The Seven Potions has the perfect consistency for a wax. So if you think that is something you would like, give them a look. Again, I've linked everything down in the description below. Question to leave you guys with, kind of a multi-tiered question. Number one, do you guys have beard waves? Number two, do they bother you or are they totally fine? And number three, have you found a method you like to get the beard waves out and or if you try this one, let me know how it worked or if you're excited to try it. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about beard waves and the method that I use to get it out. This has worked for me and it has been one of my most asked questions. How do I get rid of beard waves? This is what the trusted teacher does. So thank you guys as always. I look forward to watching everything with the interactions on this video here and hopefully it's helping out a lot of guys out there. So stay bearded, stay beautiful, have an awesome day.